good afternoon. You join me in my garden at my garden hut that I built last year. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you some bits that I got today, some new bits to help me on the camps. So uh, let's get straight into it and have a look, see what we've got. First off, this uh, first aid kit. Everyone should have one, but I didn't. Um, so what have we got on it? Whistle. Got some plasters in a plastic protective case. It's good. But most of the others just the usual. Got, oh, it's handy. So, cool gel, in case you burn yourself. Uh, so we've got dressings, plasters, antiseptic wipes. Yeah, all in a nice little pouch. All good. Um, just contains the items that you're gonna need if you cause yourself a minor injury. Um, anything more serious, you'd have to call the uh, emergency services. So, obviously, in here we've got um, a guidance leaflet, uh, a whistle, um, an elastic adhesive uh, strip. Uh, it's about one meter long. Some washproof adhesive plasters. Um, antiseptic wipes, a burn gel sachet, finger bandage, um, an eye pad, um, a pair of scissors and six safety pins to do up the bandages. Um, it's got a, a loop on the back so you can put it on your belt. Um, so you've got a little tab there, I suppose you can put a little carabiner on there and put it on the side of your pack so it's easily accessible. Um, yeah, just a a small first aid kit just to get me going. Right, what's next? Uh, oh, we've got a OEX gas canister stabilising stand. The reason I got one of these, um, I used my uh, gas canister when I was out probably about three weeks ago and uh, it's quite windy when it was a bit uneven as well so I wanted something to uh, sort of do that, but what we'll do, we'll open it, and I've got a gas canister. So, so yeah, it's just obviously plastic, folds out, and it clips open. Pretty good. What I'm going to do is there we go. We've got a gas canister. Gives it a lot more stability. Um, you can put your little flame top on there, your burner. So, uh, designed in the UK, uh, developed in the UK. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's basically durable, lightweight. It's most ganis, gas canisters. Um, if you want to know the weight, it's 0 0.031 kilograms, 31 grams basically. Uh, yeah, so that's that there. Clips onto the bottom. 
Right. We're all good. Right, what's next? And I just want to point out that I'm not sponsored by Go Outdoors. I'm not receiving any money for this, for them, from them, or from any other of the products. Um, it's just where I bought the stuff from. Right. Um, what we got here? I have a six in one snacks tool. Look at that. Six in one. So, camping utensil can be used to cut, strain, spoon, spread, fork, and flip food at the campsite. Food safe and won't scratch non-stick pans. So let's. Uh, I didn't buy these. They just add them. Right. There we go. So, oh, it's fairly lightweight. Um, oh, it does clip in. So we've got a nice sort of deep spoon and it's got the fork edge, nice handle, feels good. Actually where they've embossed the uh, Trek mate's name onto the back of it, actually a bit of a grip, which is pretty good. And then you've got the, the knife part, so obviously you've got a knife bit there serrated um, obviously it can be used as a spatula as well got the holes on there for straining just put it up against your pan strain the water out um, it says it's can also used to be s s spread things I guess you just sort of spread it like that you know but uh, yeah pretty handy and uh, it all sort of clips together. I'll turn that round and show you a bit better. So, that. And obviously they just clip together. So that's pretty good. So that's my utensils. Right. So, okay, next up, everyone knows what these are. Pack of tent pegs. Um, I just needed some more my tarp only comes with six um, and uh, so I'm going to use it as a, a sort of open fronted pyramid tent with closed back I need a few more pegs um, so I've just bought some cheapy ones to do the job uh, yeah so just round wire ten of them All right. that's it like I say just temp pegs, we all know what they look like. And I've got these for when I'm using my tarp. Um, some ground sheet pegs. Uh, I've got these just because they're domed. And I'm not going to trip over them. Um, and obviously they don't need to be that long, just need to hold it down. Um, obviously, like I say, just plastic pegs. They've all, they have got, uh, as you can see on camera, they have got eyelets in, so you can put guy ropes to them if you need to. Not that you'd really want to on a ground sheet, but I guess obviously you can put loops of cord, It'd make them easier to pull out because they're going to be flush with the ground. Um, it's a nice little idea, but yeah, got those. Right. Next up, I've got a Technicals travel towel. Um, take that off. So, yeah, it's just that. And a little bag, um, some mesh on the on one side, I guess, so it allows it to dry out. You've got the little one of these little spring clips on it, and yes. pretty big. So made from suede, but uh, yeah, um, 
obviously it's not not suitable to be near the fire um, so I wouldn't put it near the fire but uh, yeah it just obviously rolls back up and there you go again got some little tabs here you could probably strap it to the side of your Rucksack. Well, I've got one here. Got your straps. I'll show you that in a bit. I'll show you. I'll go through that in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's just a small one. Uh, they do medium and large. Um, they double in size each one you go up. I think. So um, yeah, just a towel. Now these, see, most people know what these are. They're just carabiners um, obviously predominantly used for climbing but not these ones they're not strong enough um, I just bought them just to hang stuff on the on my pack stuff that's easy to get to um, they came in well they were in red or blue I just picked one blue two red no specific reason um, but yeah you know I got there and if you really wanted to, you can you know, put one on your little first aid kit and that can hang on the backpack. Um, yeah, they, uh, they're just carabiners, little keyring ones, so novelty ones really. Um, they're only a pound each, but uh, yeah, it does actually say not for climbing on. you. No way you're going to be able to see that on the camera, but yeah. So, yeah. Little carabiners. Uh, okay, next up uh, is basically got some food. Nothing special to most people, but. Um, I happen to be gluten free, not by choice. Um, I was diagnosed about seven years ago and I've been struggling to find hiking or camping food that caters for that until I came across these today. Um, they're from a company called Firepot. They eat well in the wild. Um, does actually say gluten free on the front which is always helpful and lactose free for those that can't have milk um, or celiac um, I've got a posh pork and beans and I've got a chili con carne with rice now, for the vegans among us, they do chili non carne, um, which is mainly vegetables, I believe. Um, I've not tried these at all yet. I'm going to wait until I'm on a camp. I'm not just going to do it just for the sake of it. Um, it's just a bit wasteful, in my opinion. Um, but the uh, yeah, the ingredients. One of these, the Posh pork and beans um, does actually contain celery and mustard powder so if you're allergic to them um, I guess they're not suitable. Um, the chili con carne hasn't got anything in bold um, so we've got 40% rice, 18% mince, 15% tomatoes then we've got onion, kidney beans, peppers, garlic, chilies uh, tomato puree, rapeseed oil, um, ancho and chipotle chilli, um, there's beef stock, red wine, vinegar, cumin, cinnamon, salt, chilli powder, citric acid, that's pretty much the predominant of the ingredients. Um, there's only 5.5 grams of sugar in it, so it's all good. Um, yeah, I mean obviously on the pack, it says lightweight, compact, um, 
and home cooked using natural ingredients. Um, our filling meals uh, bring real flavour to remote areas. Um, just add water to refuel. Whenever you find yourself, uh, whatever your challenge. Um, it's got uh, gradients on the back. Um, just up the side here. That obviously it tells you in the instructions where to fill it to. Um, it says uh, pitch the pouch at level 5 to mark the correct water level. And then, yeah, this the uh, posh pork is slightly different, so make sure you read that so you don't put too much water in, be watery um, or too little, it'd be a bit stodgy, I should think. Um, yeah, there's uh, uh, no palm oil used, no artificial additives. Um, obviously, make sure you take out the oxygen pouch inside. Can't eat those. Um, but yeah, um, can't wait to try these because they look really good. Um, the best before date is uh, just under three years from now. So I think I'm I'm good with those. Um, obviously, made in Dorset. Um, yeah, in the United Kingdom. So, yeah, quite happy with those. Okay, well, it's been sitting in the background for the whole video, but this is my new backpack. Um, it's my Gillard. Um, got it on a sale. Um, was 85 pounds I got it for 34 so pretty good saving um, 60 litres um, let's get the tag off don't want it flapping around I'll have a look at it so obviously the back um, pretty flat got shoulder supports there or back support, sorry. Shoulder straps are quite thick. I've got a, a waistband, it's also quite cushioned. Um, heavy duty toggle. Oh, that's good. Um, got the chest strap, which again is adjustable. Also, got a whistle on it. I've got on the back I've got a lumbar support which is really thick, it's about an inch thick that one. Pretty good. Then I've got uh, on the bottom here I've got some toggles here. If anyone could tell me what they're for, that'd be great because I have no idea. Um, I've got uh, straps here that I actually wanted to put obviously the you could put the tent through there or your roll mat um, which is pretty good behind them and do those got a pocket in there uh, I guess you could put your shoes or any sort of used clothing, wet clothing on your way home if you want to take it home with you. Obviously you'll have to. Um, but yeah, got a nice big pocket there. together with a pretty sharp tick. Got a, another couple of loops here, one there, one there, a little reflective band on there. Um, pocket either side for a water bottle or your MSR fuel bottle. And we have loops on the top you could put any straps on there, strap a tent, strap a roll mat, however, whatever configuration you want to use.
cavernous. Looks like one of those big fishies. It's right. quite funny. Yeah, a little pocket inside. There. Um, I've got a, there is a metal frame in here. Um, I guess it helps with all the support. Okay, so we've got like a metal wire frame that goes all the way inside the bag. Big, big, big pocket inside there. Um, I guess in this bit you could actually put like a camel back. Um, more than enough room for it. Or any other water reservoir. Um, I've got two drawstrings, one at the bottom, and I've got one here, that's the inner, and we've got an outer, up here, inner and outer, I've got some toggles here, I'm not entirely sure, they might be for um, trekking pole, if you have any, I've got two of those, and they're on the top, Do not eat. Bin that. Um, yeah, we've got some straps on the top here as well. Um, again, these can be extended. Um, put something soft there. You know, even if you, they're on your shoulders like that, that sort of size, you could put something small in there, like a blanket, or maybe put your sleeping bag on there. Um, I like to carry my sleeping bag in the pack if I can to keep all the weather off of it. Um, yeah. Right, so that's all my kit I got today. Um, yeah, obviously, I've Hope to use it on my next camp um, probably be not this weekend coming the weekend after um, so I'll be at work I have to work every other weekend um, and uh, yeah uh, oh before I go let me show you one of these you might have all seen them a bit like the old British Army hexi burners um, but I think this is probably the most simplest one I've seen. Um, literally, it comes as like that, wrapped in film, uh, I think clear film, just like that. Literally, you unfold it. You've got a wind guard. It actually does say out on one bit, so that bit goes on the outside. You pop that in. It's got. Push that up, and then if it's windy this side, you know, it's not going to blow your flame out. And you obviously just turn it around so it's sort of into the wind, basically. Um, and yeah, you got these little nobbles. These here. There's a little sort of another one on the main frame which clips it all together, so you can adjust it to whatever stand you've got. Um, and then you get the uh, fire dragon fuel cell. Um, this lasts about, I think it's about 20, 30 minutes. It's not bad. And it literally boils water in no time at all. Super quick. And just slot that in there, peel the cover off. Um, use a match, um, uh, a 
the striker and the ferro ferro rod literally it starts instantly um, I took these out on my shed before I had all the clad in and everything else on it before it was insulated and they were frozen solid it still worked uh, it literally in lights instantly and it just burns away um, so yeah this is pretty good but what I'm gonna do got one of these and one of these I'm gonna give it away so I want you to message me your funniest camping hiking trekking story um, it doesn't have to be long um, I'll sit there and I'll read through them basically whatever what I find the funniest I will obviously name you in the post um, on Instagram because um, I literally just post videos on YouTube and that's it um, I, so yeah obviously um, leave in the comments leave your insta name so I can get in touch with you and I'll send you one of these free of charge um, you know you might have one already but it doesn't hurt to have a spare so yeah I want to say uh, thanks for watching please like and subscribe and uh, I shall see you on the next one cheers <laughs>